Hi and welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator. So here we've got the PMDG 737-900ER and we're just going to show you how to start the engines only. I've done one video talking about how to start the FMC and now we're going to do just the engines and then we'll do one video putting it all together. Let's get started. So we're starting the engines. First thing we're going to do is just go up to the top here and click on battery and then click on emergency lights. Then I'm going to go down to here fuel pump left on and aft left on okay then we're going down to APU we're going to click this twice once to on and then once again to put it on to start now we can do a few other things but I'm going to click on the anti-collision light I'm going to scroll the screen around a little bit and look up the very top and just up the top here we've got some align nav buttons so I'm going to switch this to nav and switch this to nav then a little bit further down we've got your damper, I'm going to click that to on. So now we're just waiting for this APU to start, you can check it's starting by listening, but you can also check and see what's going on by looking at this little switch here. When it goes all the way up and comes back to 4, it'll light up this switch here and then we can do the next steps. While we're up here we're just going to turn on the circuit breaker, I'm just going to turn on this panel brightness light, so we've just got a couple of those. We're just watching this now as it comes back to 4. Now this is different to what the real life procedure is. I'm trying to show you how you can start the engines quickly. So we're going to number 4. This is really for gaming purposes. And we've got the light on. We're going to click down once and we're going to click down twice. Now what I'm going to do quite different is I'm going to start the engine straight away. What we're going to do is we're going to click on APU bleed. I'm going to go back over to here. I'm going to click on right engine and then these three down the bottom then I'm going to go all the way down to here. Now to save me from having to look up and down, look up and down, I'm just going to turn these two switches on. Um, and you'll notice it will say engine fail, engine fail. Don't panic, it, this will all work out. All we need to do is click once here on GRD for ground and then that's going to start that up. You can check if it's working by just having a little look outside and seeing if it's spinning around. So you can see that one is spinning around and that one's completely stationary. Cool, which is the right engine, so that's making sense. While we're waiting, we can just change this. So I'm going to put this up to uh, 35,000 or so, or 30,000 feet will do. I'll change this to 100. And we can also begin to look at this, but I might describe that in just a few seconds. So at the moment, we're just starting up that engine. Um, some other things you could do is just looking at your lights. These three you would like to turn up. So one, two, and three, especially if you're trying to operate at night. And also go down to here and turn on this one and turn on this one. Now you heard a little click in the background there. I'm not sure if you guys would have noticed, but what would have happened is this would have flicked back from ground to auto. It does that automatically. So now we just click the once on here onto GRD for the other engine. If we have a little look outside, we can see one spinning around and then the other one's just beginning to start up here. So that's now the second engine and we can put on our taxi lights so we get that ready as well and then we're going to get ready to do the rest of the panels and switches but this is a much much quicker way of starting up the plane and just getting yourself ready now if you want to you can go straight up to here to ATC ground services ground and we can do pushback so we'll get that plane getting pushed back now he's going to come along and help push us back I'll describe the how to work of the parking brake once we come um, done from them and we've finished doing the pushback but for the moment we'll just leave that as it is so we're just waiting for this to flick back to auto we've got it back to auto that's good so we've now got two started engines and we're going to have a little pushback we do not have a parking brake on at the moment just so you know but I will show you how that works in just a second so next things we're going to do now we've got the engine started we're going to go up to window heat one two three and four the middle button we don't touch turn on the two probe switches, we go down to here, hydraulic pumps, turn on and turn on. We've got two packs, so we're going to put that to auto and put that to auto. But the really important thing we've got to do right now is go over to here. So you see how it says gen off bus, click once here and click once here. Okay, and now it just says gen off bus. So what we now need to do is we can turn the APU bleed off and we can also go over to here and we can turn the APU off by clicking once and then that's all the way off and then you'll notice that light goes out. So that's now the engine started. We've got all our information entered in there. You can put on your seat belts or the chimes if you want to, but we don't have really have any passengers, so that's okay for our flight today. 
and that's pretty much the engine started. Now, we want to get back to this guy who's pushing us back. I'm just going to go up to the top and tell him to stop. And we'll have a little look at where he's pushed us to. He's pushed us to there, which is great. So, we're all the way back to there. He's got done. Now, say we just want to put the parking brake on, because I said I wanted to describe that to you. This is a little bit tricky. Um, to get this going, you kind of, or well, at least for me, I need the keyboard, which has a numlock pad. If you don't have a numlock pad, you might have to look up what you need to do. But, hold down the delete button on the keyboard, which is your brakes. So, you'll notice my brakes going over here. Whereas I'm just holding down the brakes. And then, as you're holding that down and keeping it held down, you hold down the left control button. So the delete button on the numlock pad, hold that down for the brakes, and then hold down the left control. Now watch what happens to the parking brake. It comes up and then it goes back down. So you need to release the left control and the right delete on the numlock pad as it comes up. So I'm going to do it again. And you'll notice it holds there. Now if you want to release it, you've got to hold down that right numlock delete button. And that's it. And it's gone. So I'll just put it on again, holding it down, parking brake on, letting go, and then release. Okay, so that's how that works, and that's all good. Now, I did do a separate video just on the FMC, so I'm not going to show that too much in this video. But if you want to, you can go into FMC, position in it. I'm just going to click on that and that. And that's about all I'm going to do just to set up these screens because sometimes people are pretty puzzled why is this not working it's because that first step there hasn't been done um, and that's that so we've got a parking brake off the only final thing I might try to describe is just how the toga works we're not all the way towards the runway yet but I can at least talk about what we need to do once we get to the runway so once we get over towards the runway what we need to do is we have to hit something called toga and toga has a couple of little switches down here which apparently you can click but it's a little bit awkward and it'll be easier to have like a keyboard command so what on earth is that keyboard command go into control options go into here where it says search by name and if you type in toga you get nothing okay so what are you talking about you need to do to space ga now notice it has auto throttle to toga and so now you want to set a button towards this so that you can can do it. But um, let's put it onto a keyboard and you'll notice there's a command here. Shift, control, plus G. So that's what the default is. You can set it to something else if you want. Um, but just make sure you know what your auto throttle is for that. So once you get over towards your runway, that's the key combination you need to press to get yourself up and into the sky. And then of course we can taxi around and move away. But that's it, the engine started. I hope that helps. I'm going to do another video where I put the two together now. Thank you for watching.